a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. This tutorial will teach you how you can combine Cards Region with a faceted search feature of Oracle Apex. This provides an easy to use interface for narrowing down the results and quickly locating specific data. The order by clause is also included, used to sort the result set on ename and job columns in ascending order in the current scenario. The combination of facets for filtering and card-based layout for displaying results creates a user-friendly and visually appealing way for users to explore and interact with data within your Oracle Apex application. This approach is particularly useful for applications that need to present data in a visually engaging and highly interactive manner, such as e-commerce sites or product catalogs. Now let's get started. To proceed further, First we have to create two list of values related to this segment. Execute the following steps. Select from scratch option. Select the table named EBA Demo Card Department. Make sure this table exists in your database. This table and LOV are related to the department's table in the database. Select the department number, and DNAME columns respectively, these columns will be used as the return and display values for your list of value. Create another list of value. This time select the table named EBA Demo Card EMP. This table and LOV both of them, are related to the EMP table in the database. Next, select the EMP number, and ename columns respectively, that will be used as the return and display values for your list of value. Edit the department LOV. Use order by from query column it will be used as the default sort column for the list of value. Create a new page. Select faceted search feature. Set source type to table. And select the table named EBA Demo Card EMP. This table is similar to the EMP table, but, it contains some additional columns related to employees' profile images. This screen displays a list of facets you want to include in the report. Under the Cards option, select the Grid Cards layout, and choose the following cards attributes, and create the page. Under the Faceted Search region, click the Department Number Page item. In the List of Values section, Make sure that the department LOV is selected which we created. And also match the case sensitive database column name used as the source for this facet. Change the name of the page item from MIME type to manager. In the list of values section, select the second LOV we created, EMP. Type the case sensitive database column name, and change the data type from varchar to number.
under the cards region. Use this SQL query provided in video description. The SQL query retrieves information about employees from the table in the database named EBA Demo Card EMP, and it is aliased as M. This alias allows us to refer to the table using M throughout the query. The query includes employees' basic details like name, job, hire date, department, etc. Additionally, it fetches the name of their manager and the name of their department by using subqueries. The results are presented in a tabular format at runtime, where each row represents an employee with all the specified details in the query. Make sure that the template is set to cards container, helpful in the appearance and layout of the region to be displayed as cards. Under the template option, select style B. It is helpful for styling the region. Select the EMP number for primary key column 1 from the region source. If the region is set to display scroll pagination, the primary key is used to avoid displaying duplicate rows. If the region displays an image from a blob column, the primary key is used to get the image. If the primary key of this table has more than two columns, the row ID column is usually selected, however it's not our current scenario. Select the e-name column to be used as title. Select the job column to be used as subtitle. Select the image blob column for the icon source for the icon that is displayed in the header of the card component. And select the profile image column that returns the blob for the icon image source. Icon position start, aligns the icon to the starting position, typically to the left side of the header. This text in the icon description describes the icon and used for tooltips and alterative text for images, it's provided in video description. Select the department number aliased column to be used as badge column. Select the MIME type column from the table which stores the blob content you want to display. The image is unlikely to display if you select a column with the wrong data type. Select the image last updated column from the table which stores the blob content you want to display. If you already have an updated column with an associated trigger to maintain the date, you could use this column instead of defining a new column, specifically for when the image was last updated. However if columns other than the blob content are updated regularly, then image caching is adversely affected. The image is unlikely to display if you select a column with the wrong data type. This page item serves as an order by clause, enabling the sorting of the results set by ename and job columns in ascending order in the current scenario. This page item is of select list type displays an item with a built-in list of values selector. When the end user clicks the item, the list of supported values displays directly in line with the current item. Select list is best suited for relatively small discrete lists. End users can very quickly select a value from the list without needing to change focus to a pop-up dialog. It also contains static list of values, the static list of values is based on the text value we enter. In current scenario, it displays and returns the e-name and job columns. The default value type for this item is also set to static. The default value is used when the item's value is not derived from session state and when the source value is null. Save your work. Run the application. Visual representation is perfect. Let's check functionalities. In the order by item. Select the job column, to sort the result in ascending order on job column.
place a check on any specific department, to see its data. Do same as for managers, jobs, and salaries to see the filtered data. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.